Welcome everybody back to the channel. I appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that like button. My edits are trying to get better. My shots are trying to get better. Uh, it is now, I don't have a watch, but it's about 4.30. And uh, we just got this in. It's gonna be the X4M competition. The car is amazing. If you don't feel like you need a big SUV and you just want it for like speed, Oh yeah, like this thing is insane. So let's, uh, this is gonna be another quick reaction, get some sound, go over a couple of specs, try to cover everything in the amount of time I have. So right away you look at it. So I think it's all even numbers have the slant. This of course has the adaptive LED lights. Pretty insane. You know, they got the nose right for the most part. Uh, they don't have it dragged down like in the other car models so it's pretty cool let's check out the rims good size these are I want to say the 21s I would definitely maybe have gone for the carbon package that has the carbon fiber mirrors carbon fiber vents it does have the giant brakes on it we will go over the window price Let's check out that hood real quick. Or what's under the hood. Oh yeah, and with BMWs, you pop it twice. You can't just pop it once. Always gotta pop it twice. Look at that giant monster of an engine. Compared to like the M8s, you know, the big twin turbo V8s, this is only pushing about 503 horsepower. I say 503 and only, kind of lightly. It's pretty quick. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh yeah, you got the the holes, of course. You can put a fist right through it. So, sorry, looking at the screen, not the camera. So to pop the trunk, if you don't have anywhere, you know, if you can't get the keys or go inside, you have this right here. See it? You don't just push it, you tilt it and it pops it. It's pretty cool. Not the biggest amount of space, but this is the X4. You're not going on a cross country trip with your family in this car. This is more about getting around town, kind of things like that. All right, let's go through the door. All carbon fiber, red leather, beautiful, beautiful. The blue sticker is still not even off. We can take that off, why not? Let's get that out of the way, it does light up. You got the M seats, which of course light up as well. They look dope at night. You know, this color is just freaking awesome. I love it. You got the little flag right here on your doormats. All right, step on in. Here we go. So, if anybody's been in the new BMWs at all, the girth on these steering wheels is nuts. You got the blue and red stitch around it. So you have the M1, M2, which is more like a personalized settings. So it's a quick access to your M modes. Or you could just go ahead and just scroll through them down here. You know, you hit that, hit that, that. So you do have an exhaust button on the M cars. Let me start this. Go ahead and turn that. All right. All right, yep. You have the heads up display right here, which you could definitely change. You could change the way your RPM show. Like I'm not moving, so it's not showing a lot. You have the dope digital gauges. I love how they do it. So you have the giant screen. It's not as big as the newer like 5 series. Let me turn it off, don't need it. But it is touch screen, which some cars have all this stuff and like Mercedes, the older ones, they're not touch screen and you have to control everything from like a knob. All right, carbon fiber trim all the way through. Wireless charger, two smaller cup holders. Let's go back, back. So it says hood open. So it's pretty easy to control. You click on car, you go to the M setup, and just like those buttons I was talking to you about. So this one has efficient, so we're gonna switch that to Sport Plus. Sport Plus, steering, Sport Plus, and we'll keep the traction on. Uh, start, stop, 
sound control on sporty exhaust system sound all right heads up display of course so what i was talking to you about you could change it so let's click it you could have it oh yeah that's the way to do it right there cool shift knob they're kind of weird so you control it like that that's reverse that's drive and these are your way you shift or you could use these beautiful paddles he did steering wheel right there has the Harman Kardon stereo and what kind of SUV would it be without me checking the back seat all right so I was in the back seat of the f-150 huge amount of room huge amount of room the x6 not too bad x5 pretty good x4 though yeah. oh. so I'm wearing a pretty tall beanie right here but I have room I have a couple of inches before I hit my head no, I'm good. It kind of slopes down right here, but for the most part, I'm pretty comfortable. Sorry about my hand shot. Got plenty of knee room. If the person doesn't go back any further. Feet room's good. You could definitely fit another person right here. Let's check down here. Oy. Oh, yeah, I got a little tiny cup holders that... Maybe a can of soda, maybe a 20-ounce bottle, but definitely not anything bigger than that. So we'll shut that. This one pulls down as well. No, it does not. I lied. Just in case you have kids with car seats. Dope. Seat belts. Get the stitch as well. Like, why do they put such kind of hard plastic on the back of a seat if they're not carbon? What if you hit your head? Like, what, what would happen if you hit your head right there? I guess you better be wearing your seat belts. All right. Heated seats in the back, of course. Climate controls, you have a USB-C outputs. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Not a whole lot of room. If you look, there's no way a hand's getting through that. No way. All right, so we did all that. Of course, carbon on the back. That the carbon, or the Harman Kardon, Kardon sound system, pretty dope. Now I'm going to do some outside shots, trying to perfect my B-roll, trying to get as smooth as I possibly can, my transitions. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're going to go for a drive right after that. So. b-roll we are gonna set the pod my stand back up we're gonna get a couple of outside of the car sounds and then we'll go for a little drive <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna go for a drive. This is the 2021 X4M competition. You have to love BMW's uh, rear view camera system. I think that's good. All right. <clears throat> we're just gonna go for a little drive. Not too much, not too much. Seatbelts on, cool seatbelts. Here we go. pretty quick now there's a lot of cars on the road so I really don't want to take it too far I want to let this car loose so yeah 503 horsepower it's not a cool amount of horsepower for five o'clock traffic so yeah stay tuned subscribe like and we'll get that drive done I'll do a 0 to 60 pull just like I did in a couple of other my other cars a couple of my other cars 
All right, thank you. I'll see you guys next time. We'll do one little pull. One little pull. That's it. That's all we're gonna get for today. <clears throat> Gotta put my mask back on.